Hi, this is Frank Rattus, and we're here at the Red Touch Media Experience, and I'm with Tim Farish, who's the head of marketing for Gaumont International. Tim, tell me a little bit about Gaumont and what you guys do. We're the newest shingle of the oldest film company in the world. Gaumont um, Film has been around since 1897, and we just opened up a shingle to start television production, international television production out in L.A. Opened up about three years ago. I've been with the company for the past year, and we've got two pro two shows that are just entering their season twos, Hannibal on NBC and Hemlock Grove on Netflix. And we are also here at the we're here at the market with Barbarella, which is being um, developed in partnership with Canal Plus and Narcos that's uh, in development in partnership with Netflix. Wow, that's a lot of stuff that you have going. Tell me a little bit about how you guys look at, especially being such a such an established company, um, how do you guys look at the future of distribution? I mean, s typical distribution is make a show, put it on television, move away. If it's a hit, fine, and if it's not, try again. Well, our whole model is a straight to series model as well. So what we're doing is, the, the future right now is for us very much is international, global shows across the board. So what we're trying to do is abandon the pilot model and go straight to series, but doing it in a way that and my time at NBC had not been all that successful. And the way we're doing it differently is really packaging up the top American talent behind these shows, but truly making them um, available globally across, uh, globally at the same time. So with Hannibal packaging up Brian Fuller with Lawrence uh, Fishburne, uh, Mads Mikkelsen, and Hugh Dancy, a great international cast, um, but with a with a very known quantity with Brian Fuller, a great creative genius behind that show uh, to American audiences. With Barbarella teaming up with Nicholas Reffin and the writers of the last five James Bond movies, Neil Purvis and uh, Robert Wade. 